when you're in a kind of a role like this, or I guess a movie like this, where it's, you know, it's a space opera, obviously it's uh, taken inspiration from, you know, uh, Star Wars and Warhammer and all these kind of disparate kind of things. For each of your characters, when do you think you started to understand them? Was it when you saw the script? Was it when you got into costume? Was it when you found the voice or the accent? Or was it, did, I mean, did you feel you connected with your characters? A good, it's a good question. Um, I think it was a it was it was progression. There are, there are, there are many different facets to creating a, a character like this. There's a physical element. There's the psychological element of of putting yourself through the strain, the trauma, the the isolation that these kind of individuals would have gone through. Mm-hmm. And I think it was a combination of of we were lucky that we shot part one and part two together, right? So we had the full arc of the full first movie, which is what part one and part two are, kind of there at our availability. So it meant that we already knew where we we where we started by the time we start, we you've met us in the first movie, which is kind of like, you know, 10 years, 15 years ahead from where you see more of our backstory in part two. So we were lucky we got the information. I think we were lucky that we had to have such a rigorous training regime that allowed us to embody the kind of the physicality and the discipline that would be necessary of these characters. And we were lucky that Zach had a real clear vision of what he wanted individually and what the backstory was. So we had, a, you know, we had a, a, a Bible to kind of deal with and work from. Sure. Yeah. How about you, Dan? Uh, I mean, really, the uh, the, the fact that uh, it was such a well written story was the attraction for me first. Um, it was a, an epic written story, uh, a story that seemed to uh, have a lot of resonance uh, in uh, the way. Uh, if you look at the uh, the geopolitical tentacles that are holding the continent of Africa back. These uh, this story speaks volume of that, mm-hmm. you know, and so I was quite thrilled from you know about that notion in the story, right? Uh, yeah. Because you, we obviously wanted to be connected to something mm-hmm. that's humane, mm-hmm. you know, and so this was really the spoke volume. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, like the, there is yeah the sort of the uh, the colonialism of Ed Screen's character, like that he just rocks up to the planet and just says, give me all, give me everything. Like, I mean, that's very, as Irish people, I, we, we know that all too well. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm wondering as well, I mean, you know, playing kind of, um, you know, obviously you, you're in Guardians of the Galaxy and I'm wondering, I mean, for both of you, I mean, do you feel drawn to kind of like sci-fi and, and space opera movies or is it just what's I'm been offered? I'm drawn to this sci-fi. I'm drawn yeah. to this type of sci-fi. Of course, not all sci-fi necessarily tells a story sure. on, on a, an organic story mm-hmm. of where you, we are in our world. Uh, this, this one, Rebel Moon, does... Uh, it accomplishes that, but also um, tend to highlight the the need to pres- preserve our planet. Mm-hmm. Also, you know, and there's some social messages that were uh, uh, I thought were quite organic as to connect with the, the story. From yeah, you know. for sure, I, I completely agree with what Jivan said, and to further that. You know, I am very much a, a sci-fi nerd. You know, I, I have I have been a guest at Comic Con and I have been a spectator at Comic Con. I grew up on all the laws, Star Wars. You know, uh, even like some crazy like writing like Day of the Triffids or John Carter. You know, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. I'm 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 absolutely a fan of the law. So as much as I completely agree with Jaime, I think where this takes a different role is it does have the undertones of kind of mimicking where we're at as society, but all at the same time, I'm a massive nerd, and it was just awesome to be a part of an IP like this. Yeah, that was brilliant. Okay, I'm getting the wrap there. Um, thanks so much for that. Cheers. Thank you so much for your time, brother. Take care. It's a new age for the universe.